It's a really exciting time to be in the space industry now because we've received a directive from the president to return humans back to the surface of the moon, something that hasn't been done for 50 years. And the more we can learn about our solar system, the more we can understand about our own planet and how it was formed, plus the desire to just understand, was there life in our solar system before? Will we discover that there's life in our solar system? Artemis is the program that's going to take humans back to the surface of the moon. It's a series of missions that will lead up to Artemis III, but it doesn't stop there. There'll be Artemis missions beyond that, so we'll have a sustained presence at the moon, which will allow us to explore the moon, learn more about the resources that are on the moon that can take humans farther into our solar system. The Orion spacecraft will contain other elements of the architecture, like habitats, landers, ascent stages, to be able to stay in space much longer than what a single spacecraft could be. We learned a lot during Apollo. In the last 50 years, we've done things in low Earth orbit, but only about two dozen have gone higher than just a quarter of an inch above a globe. This is the machine that'll be able to take us further than we've gone before and build on all of the research that's been done to date. Orion technologies include heat shield, electronics, fault tolerance, propulsion systems, power generation, environmental control, habitation, waste systems, a galley. It's the entire city to keep the crew alive and comfortable. Artemis One will be launched next year to orbit the moon and verify that our vehicle design works. Artemis II will bring crew out to the moon, verifying that we can take crew out to deep space orbit, keep them alive, allow them to work in space, and then return them safely to Earth. In the meantime, NASA's already starting with procuring the gateway. They started with the power and propulsion element, along with the habitation and logistics outpost. The gateway is really important for us to explore the lunar surface. Astronauts can actually operate rovers on the lunar surface from the gateway. And then once the astronauts go home, we can continue to operate those assets through the gateway as a communications outpost from Earth. Not only that, the Gateway allows us to further explore the lunar surface with humans at any point on the lunar surface. We want to explore all of the moon, not just one point, and the Gateway enables that. NASA is really focused on going to the moon, but then also to Mars. They envision using the Lunar Gateway to bring humans on Orion from Earth out to the Gateway, down to the lunar surface on the human landing system, but then also building up vehicles like Mars Base Camp that would take humans out to the red planet for the first time and then down to the Martian surface. What this program means for society going back to the moon and Mars is learning more about what we know about the moon and the solar system around us and what's happening on Earth, what's happened to Mars in the past. Significance of it is we've learned a lot with instruments and robots, but with humans, humans can think while they're on the surface of another planet. And they can discover things that you couldn't pre-program into a robot. We're going back to the moon because it's what we do. We explore. But in addition to being able to explore, we're going to learn more about our solar system and how that affects and protects us here on Earth. And I think the other reason we're going back to the moon is to inspire. We want to inspire the next generation and there is nothing more inspirational than going to space.